my name is Jess and welcome to my channel Reads with a Ravenclaw. I'm coming at you with a kind of like different location today because I really wanted to film in front of my bookshelves and the lighting's not as great here because the window's all the way across the room but we'll see, we'll see how this works. Today I thought I would do a sort of video that I haven't done on this channel before and that is talk specifically about an author I really like and why I think you should read her books and that author is Melina Marchetta or Marchetta, I'm not really sure on the correct pronunciation of her surname. Melina Marchetta is without a doubt my favourite young adult author of all time and that's really saying something considering that up until about two years ago I read exclusively or almost exclusively YA and middle grade fiction. She doesn't really seem to be that well known if you look at any of her books on Goodreads and if you look at the reviews most of them have excellent really personal reviews and I absolutely love looking at them on Goodreads because they all really sum up how great a writer she is but I feel like in booktube and just in general I don't hear her spoken about much at all and I really think she deserves more recognition because she is such a skilled and wonderful writer. I thought I would just talk to you a little bit generally about why I love her writing and why I think you'd love her writing and then I'm going to go a little bit more specifically into the six of the eight books of hers that I've read and why I love and recommend every single one of them. So the first thing that I absolutely adore about Melina Marchetta's writing and every review that I've ever read seems to agree with me on this is her characters. Melina Marchetta just writes such brilliant characters. Like I say the majority of her novels are YA, I think her most recent one is an adult novel and she makes and creates teenage characters in a way that no other author that I've read creates teenage characters. She really seems to remember what it is to be a teenager and I know that sounds really strange considering that that is really the job of every YA author ever but I personally feel like a lot of the time, not all the time, but a lot of the time you can tell when a teenage perspective is being written by an adult and that doesn't mean that that adult hasn't understood teenagers, it just means that there's this gap, you know, they've lived a little bit longer, they've kind of forgotten exactly what it's like to be in this headspace. When I read a novel by Melina Marchetta, I don't feel that gap existing. I relate so intensely to every single one of her characters. Another great thing about her characters is the fact that they're all flawed, and I'm not talking about like little flaws like clumsiness, which seems to be the flaw of every Mary Sue, YA heroine ever, like proper flaws. And along with great characters comes excellent character relationships. Family in particular is a really massive part of uh, Melina Marchetta's novels. Every single novel of hers that I've read has had a really interesting family dynamic, whether it be um, a close one or one that's kind of estranged and distant. She writes families in a way that is so realistic and engaging and entertaining and that's a really big part of why I love her novels because a lot of the time in children's literature or YA parents aren't really present or if they are present there's a major like breaching communication between them and there, there is a lack of communication a lot of the time between the teenage protagonists and their parents but the parents still feel like they're this major force in in the teenager's life a lot of the time and I think for the majority of teenagers out there parents are or guardians or any kind of parental figure they are a really big part of your life and Melina Marchetta acknowledges that and she works it into her stories so well. Friendship as well is a massive part of all of her books. She might she writes some of the most wonderful and realistic female friendships I've read in way and it's just such a treat every single time I read one. The next thing that I love in general about her works is the writing style. It's not like flowery language and it's not heavy with imagery and it's not the sort of language that you think would be beautiful because in her contemporaries um, she writes in first person, she's in the head of a teenage girl a lot of the time, it's in present tense and it's very pacey but I think a lot of the beauty of Melina Marchetta's writing comes from her dialogue. She writes this really great natural sounding dialogue that you can imagine coming out of people's mouths in real life. It's just subtle and gorgeous and it creates these whole moods around her books which I really really love. And the final thing that I love really generally about Melina Marchetta is her themes. Like I've said across all of her books family is really important, friendship is really important identity is a huge theme across all of her books and that can be personal identity it's YA and I think a lot of the time in YA this kind of searching for yourself theme is just something that runs through it quite naturally if you have a teenage protagonist um, but she also looks at cultural identity her fantasy series The Lumetier Chronicles is kind of a comment on refugees and on war and on the kind of clash of cultures and it's written so beautifully and 
wonderfully. As I understand it, her first book, Looking for Ella Brandy, which I, like I've said is one of the few that I haven't read, deals with a girl of um, Italian heritage and I think that Italian heritage is something that plays quite heavily into the book. So, so, those, so those are just some things that I like across all of her books but I thought I would talk a little bit more specifically about the books of hers that I have read which like I say is six out of the eight that she has published so far and just see if there are any that you like the sound of and would like to pick up. So the first book of hers that I'm going to mention and I think it's probably the most well known book of Melina Marchetta's internationally is um, On the Jellico Road or Jellico Road. Uh, so this is set in an Australian boarding school and it follows a young girl called Taylor Markham who at the age of 11 was was abandoned on the Jellicoe Road by her mother and picked up by the caretaker of a school called Hannah. Over the years when she is boarding at the Jellicoe school, Taylor starts to rely quite heavily on Hannah, so when one day Hannah disappears and no one seems to be able to tell Taylor where she's gone, it's a massive blow. And the entire novel kind of follows these two storylines, you have the perspective of Taylor and then you have snippets from the novel that Hannah was writing. This in my opinion is her most strongly written contemporary, the the mystery elements of this are really well woven in and I also think it's the one that seems to make everybody cry more than any of them. It's an extremely emotional read about family and identity and just friendship that goes past like through the years. I would say with this book the biggest thing that I seem to find with this book is the first 100 pages are really confusing. A big part of the first 100 pages of this is like something called the territory wars where you have like these little wars over bits of land between sort of three separate areas of the neighbourhood that Taylor lives in and that's really the focus of the first hundred pages and a lot of people get quite confused during it and end up giving up but if you choose to pick this one up I would really urge you to just like power straight on through it because it's such a wonderful emotional read and it's one of my favourite books of all time. The next book I want to talk about is actually my favourite of Melina Marchetta's and it is Saving Francesca. So this is about a girl called Francesca who um, kind of doesn't really know who she is. She's a bit of a social chameleon at school. She kind of just blends in um, with the cool girls. And then at the start of this novel, she has been forced to switch schools to a school called St. Sebastian's, which is originally a boys' school, but just started to admit 30 girl pupils a year. So she's kind of dom in a very male dominant environment. And right at the start of this novel, Francesca's mother Mia, who has always been a massive presence in her life, doesn't get out of bed because she's suffering from depression and Francesca like, sort of has to deal with the impact that this has on her and her family and her identity because she's kind of always had her mother telling her who she is and who she should be and when her mother's just not at the forefront of things anymore it really causes this big struggle for her. This book is just incredible, it takes a really really simple premise, just a girl who has to deal with it when her family starts to fall apart but it makes it something that is at once complex and simple. The group of friends in this novel is my favourite like gang of friends in anything ever. They're so wonderful and so funny and every single one of them is well developed. Francesca is also one of my favourite heroines of all time. I think she is wonderful and spunky and fun and I love and appreciate her arc. I feel like it's such it's such a, just a relevant and personal arc to so many people because who doesn't just kind of change their behaviour a little bit here and there to fit in better? And Francesca is really an example of how deep you can get in when you start that habit, but also how rewarding it is when you start to get out of that habit and finding yourself a little bit again. And it's just really poignant, but it's never over emotional and it's never silly. And it's probably the most honest, just like the most honest story about family and friendship and about teenage life that I've ever read so I definitely recommend this one. The next contemporary that Melina Marchetta has written and the final contemporary that I'm going to talk about is The Piper's Son. So this follows a side character from Saving Francesca called Tom Mackey and it's set about five years after the events of Saving Francesca so if you're going to read The Piper's Son I would definitely recommend picking up Saving Francesca first because the impact is just greater if you kind of know the characters beforehand but in this book Tom is still reeling from the death of his uncle following a terrorist attack a few years ago and it just kind of follows him trying to get in touch again with his family which really fell apart after the incident um, with his friends from Saving Francesca who he kind of pushed away after the incident. It's the sort of thing that in the hands of anyone else would just be like a really terrible soap opera plot but with Melina Marchetta it just feels like something honest and touching and 
wonderful. This is also a dual perspective novel so some of it follows the perspective of Tom and some of it is from the perspective of her his aunt Georgie who has just found out that she is pregnant with her ex-boyfriend's baby and I really like the dynamic between the two of them. I also love the romance of this book. I'm not going to spoil it too much because it kind of gets hinted at in Saving Francesca so it's a bit of a spoiler for Saving Francesca but basically the object of Tom's affections in this book is overseas so a lot of their romance and kind of romantic banter takes place over email and it is just so much fun to read like it's so much fun to read because they say things that they would never say to each other face to face in real life and it just makes for like a really fun but also emotional and exciting romantic element that is quite unique to YA I think. So Melina Marchetta was originally like kind of very much in the contemporary game but she has also released a YA fantasy trilogy called The Lumetier Chronicles. The first book is Finnegan of the Rock, the second book is Fro of the Exiles and the final book is Quintana of Shirin so all throughout the series is out in its entirety so it's definitely a great one to pick up because you won't have to wait for any stupid cliffhangers. I feel like it's kind of hard to explain the plot of Finnegan of the Rock without explaining the background in which Melina Marchetta kind of conceived the idea. Um, so she said in an interview essentially that she was on a train and she looked around and she realised that so many people on the train around her were from different cultures and different places and she really wanted to write a novel kind of about that just mix of cultures. It follows a young man called Finnegan who comes from a war-torn kingdom called Lumetir and right at the start of the novel you found out, find out find out that in Finnegan's childhood most of the royal family was murdered um, in like a coup but they believe that one of the royal children Prince Balthazar has survived so this novel in particular follows Finnegan trying to recover this lost royal child and the entire series kind of just covers this entire expanse of land so not just limited but all of the different kingdoms and how the relationships between the different people and the different cultures change and alter as there are different wars and different just like political Political things going on. I think what makes me really enjoy this fantasy series is that it is so character driven and a lot of the times my problem with fantasy is that the authors will sometimes put so much energy into fleshing out the world that I just feel that their characters are kind of loose stereotypes or um, just not really fleshed out enough but this is definitely a character driven fantasy novel which I think is something quite rare I think a lot of the time it's plot driven my favorite novel in the entire series is definitely the second one um, Four of the Exiles because you just get into the head of the most complex and strange characters that you'll ever see in a fantasy but they're wonderful and they're just so excellently written the next time you've just got like a terrible day outside and nothing to do get yourself these books read them you will not regret it they are absolutely incredible so that's really all I've got to say on the subject I could honestly go on about Melina Marchetta for hours and hours but I think I've hopefully said enough to convince you to read more of her novels so thank you for watching and until next time goodbye